Hey, you guys. So, <clears throat> I don't really want to call this a morning sip because <clears throat> we might go longer than 15 minutes. Um, but it's kind of a morning sip, I guess. So, you know what to do? Like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. <clears throat> Be on the lookout for personals and extended readings. I'm still working on that. <clears throat> That'll be in the description bar or I will announce it on the video. Um, what else? For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. <clears throat> I'm sorry, you guys. Something's wrong with my throat today. So some of you guys that have be having communication issues in your relationship, okay? Because that didn't start till I hit play. Okay, so we're going to get into this. Give me any messages that you have. We're gonna pull a few romance angels today. We're just gonna do a we're gonna do a a multitude of things today. I don't know <laughs> what, what exactly we're gonna do. So love yourself first. Your self respect makes you more rom romantically attractive. That is so true, and I don't know how many times I have to tell that to people. When you show people that you will not be treated any kind of way, that garners their respect. Okay, that garners their respect. Now. <clears throat> playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit to of fun to shine so some of us are too serious some of us are too serious some of us need to li to loosen up a bit okay and i can say that i am guilty of that i'm a very serious person especially when it comes to fuck like and i almost said the f word but i'm not worried about being monetized um <clears throat> when it comes to you fucking with my heart i'm very serious about that okay so i can be too serious at times when it comes to stuff like that reconciliation someone from your past is, is returning to your life so you, this gives me six of cups energy but there's somebody who may be trying to come back okay <laughs> i just get this the, the sense of lighten up okay if they do try to come back lighten up especially if you want them okay love yourself first but also don't I get the sense that you probably were taken advantage of in this previous relationship, okay? And if you want them to come back, or if you've been wanting them to come back, I feel like they're coming back, but you're gonna have to lighten up. You're gonna have to not dwell on the past. You're not gonna have, to, you're gonna not, you're gonna have to not keep bringing up what happened in the past, okay? When you love yourself first, you don't have to do all that because it's an inner thing, okay? You don't have to say anything. It's something that you say to yourself, okay, when this person, if this person crosses this line, I'm done. And it's not something that you have to say. Um, it's not some, <clears throat> excuse me. It's not something that you have to say to the person. Okay. It's not something, it's not something that you have to let that person know. It's something that you just know within. Okay. So we're going to pull a few energy cards too. I really like these cards. We may just pull one. Give me a card for today. For the collection. Oh, okay. So we got two. We got attachment. Okay. And we got the world. So this could be the end to some kind of attachment. Give me a second. I don't, I don't think I have the book with me. Give me a second. When I saw, saw that world card, I automatically thought of the world in the tarot. And that's about endings. But let's see what the book says. So five, <clears throat> perceived need and a choice to let go. This is the attachment card. In the upright position, this card reveals that your passage forward is being stopped by strong attachments to old patterns or old people from the past. To the chain at your wrist is bolted to fear from the past or desperation about the future. Although you may wear the mask of pretense or even contentment, you simply can't seem to move forward. Okay, <clears throat> this may be this person that's coming back. Okay, this may be this person that's coming back that you have the unhealthy attachment to. This stuff keeps you stuck. Could be physical addiction, emotional patterns, or even old relationships. Wow. 
Excuse me, I don't want to get a drink. Are you living in fear, addicted to old, unhealthy habits, or so desperate about the future that you can't be happy now? If so, the change that binds you could be of your own making. This card is telling you that it's time to take the action you need to break out of your chains and move forward, okay? So, maybe you need to lighten up to attract more people. Whoever's coming back may be an attachment that you have, okay? And it's saying that you need to love yourself first, you know, so that means, that would basically mean not even giving this person a chance, but we'll, we'll clarify with tarot. And let's see what the world says. 29. And I feel like I'm scattered today. <clears throat> so just catch, catch whatever it is that you need to catch. Because I know that what I'm saying is for somebody. But if it's coming out scattered, or I feel like it's coming out scattered. So the world, expansion, opening up. The man in this picture is looking out over a bay, above which a beautiful sphere of earth is rotating. This card is reminding you to expand your vision. <clears throat> Template so much broader options. The world is wide, so there's a lot out there to consider. In the modern age of technology, this could speci specifically be referring to creating or expanding to a more global network through the internet or social marketing. Drawing this card also lets you know that you have unlimited resources available to you, and now's the time to think big. As they say, the world is your oyster, so get ready to gobble it up. <clears throat> so I feel like this is saying, as, as, as far as a love reading, I feel like this is saying there's so many more fish in the sea. And I feel like you may be attached to this one person or you may be so dead set on getting this one person. It's kind of like the five of cups where you're dwelling on this one person when there's two other cups. You see what I'm saying? So I feel like this is telling you to open your perception or open up your mind to the possibility that, you know, you could definitely move on and be with somebody else. There's a lot of fish in the sea. So... One more shuffle. I like those shuffles. One more. And we're just going to do a general spread for the collective. Okay. What's going on with their love life the emperor so i feel like somebody here is trying to get some control or order of things okay could be dealing with an aries but i feel like somebody here is trying to get some uh, some kind of control of what is going on i feel like somebody's trying to get order uh you could be dealing with a fire sign this aries this is someone who's an entrepreneur a father a husband you know somebody that's upright and upstanding but very much so is into order and control, okay? <laughs> With this Ace of Cups here, I feel like there's either love coming in for you or this is about the love relationship with this Aries and either you or this person is trying to get control of the love, okay? Or trying to control the relationship, okay? This could also be <clears throat> this area is coming back towards you three of pentacles yeah because they want to work on it somebody here wants to work on this relationship and that's where that reconciliation card comes in at somebody here wants to work on this they're still in love okay and they want to work with you or work together on this relationship so i feel like this is somebody that you are, have already dealt with okay ace of pentacles they want a new beginning they want a new beginning and you can't see it. I'm sorry. But they want a new beginning. They want something new or new and stable here with this Ace of Pentacles. You also could be coming into some um, stability as far as work or business. But I feel like, um, yeah, this person wants stability. So you got an Ace of Cups and an Ace of Pentacles. Bunch of new beginnings here, okay? Bunch of new beginnings. Judgment. I feel like somebody made some kind of decision. Okay. Somebody has made some kind of decision. We're going to have to clarify. But a decision was made with this three of pentacles. 
It could be that you were once in a situation with this person where more than one of you was involved and this person could have made a judgment <clears throat> to choose you. Oh, <laughs> what did I just say? Two of Pentacles. So I feel like this person, so either you or this person was juggling here and a decision has been made, okay? A decision has been made. Could be dealing with, so I got earth up here. I got heavy earth, fire, water, okay? Why is this judgment card here? Why is this judgment card here? The sun. So I feel like somebody has made a decision to be happy, okay? And I feel like somebody has decided that either you or them, so this is either them deciding that you make them happy or you deciding that they make you happy, okay? Could be dealing with a Leo. Why is the sun card here? Or this is just somebody deciding to be happy, okay? This is somebody just deciding that, hey, okay. Okay, so they made this decision after a tower moment. So I feel like this is somebody here just deciding that, hey, I'm going to be happy. And this could mean loving yourself first, okay? This could very well mean loving yourself first. So I feel like it's like the sun after the rain, okay? So I feel like somebody here had a tower moment, could be dealing with a Scorpio, that shook their world up. And now they've made a decision that they want to be happy and they want happiness, okay? Why is this two of pentacles here? Why is this two of pentacles here? Three of swords. Somebody was being juggled in this situation and they got their heart broken because of it. Could be dealing with a Gemini specifically or an air sign, okay? So somebody's juggling broke somebody's heart here, okay? Or just a third party situation broke someone's heart. Okay, it could have caused a separation and that's where that tower comes from. Okay, with the chariot, I feel like somebody moved forward or moved on from this. Could be dealing with a cancer. Okay, but somebody moved forward because that chariot has its back towards this three of swords. So somebody here moved away from that heartbreak or moved away from that third party situation or just moved away from... Um, or cause a separation. So they moved away from this relationship with, which caused you guys to separate, okay? Could be dealing with a cancer specifically. Why is a chariot here? Ten of swords, yeah. They moved on and they, and believe me, they were hurt over it, okay, with this ten of swords. They moved on and ended it, okay? Uh, they felt betrayed. So this is either you or the person. So what I'm gonna do, instead of me it keep saying you or them or them or you, because this is collective, just place it where it goes, okay? I'm gonna always read it from your standpoint. Just place it where it goes, okay? So the emperor, <clears throat> why is this emperor here? It could be dealing with an Aries. Why is this emperor here? The fool. So I feel like an Aries wants a new beginning with you, okay? And Aries here wants a new beginning with you. They wanna take a new leap of faith. They wanna go on a new journey. I feel like they may have had to take some time to get their life in order, okay? Things may not have been in order before, and they're ready for a new beginning now, okay? With that Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Fool here? The Star. Yeah, they've done, they've done some healing. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. They've done some, uh, some healing. They've taken some time for themselves. They have um, maybe uh, gotten their emotions together. And they see you as wish fulfillment for them, okay? They see you as a wish. They, and I feel like they never got rid of or never let go go of the hope and faith that you guys' relationship could work out, okay? Why is the star here? Not a swords. And I feel like they want to rush in to, it, to tell you something or at least have a conversation with you with this knight of swords. This is very... Uh, impulsive chaotic energy but i mean this is somebody who wants to rush in okay but it's not a source could be dealing with a gemini libra aquarius so i feel like this person wants to rush in and maybe even tell you that they want a new leap of faith with you or a new relationship with you that's where this reconciliation comes in at because i feel like this is somebody that you've already dealt with especially with this ten of swords here okay so this is someone that you've already dealt with. That's where the reconciliation comes in at, up there. Okay, so why is this Ace of Cups here? Oh, 
Also with this Nine of Swords, I just heard this person may have been running from these emotions that they have from you, okay? Because it, this card has their back turned to the star card. They may have been running from the fact that they may have known all along that you were the one and that that's where they were supposed to be at. And I feel like they could have also been running from that connection also. Ace of, wow. Wow. You have got, wow, 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 wow. So you know today is the Lion's Gate, okay? Today's the portal for the Lion's Gate. For any of you guys that don't know what that is, do some research on the Lion's Gate portal. Um, but you have got one, two, three, three, three new beginnings here. Three aces here, okay? So there's going to be some major shifts with you guys in this relationship. So I feel like here with this Ace of Swords, that somebody may want to communicate that, you know, that they're, they're in love or that, that they're still in love. Somebody may want a second chance at this with this Ace of Swords, but also somebody may have had, because if you look at this card, I really feel like somebody had some clarity, okay? Because you see the beams coming out from the head. I feel like somebody had an aha moment or somebody has had some clarity that you are the person for them. And like I said, if, if this is the reverse, then just reverse it, okay? Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> I feel like somebody here wants to give to this, okay? Somebody wants to give to this. Somebody wants an equal give and take in this relationship, okay? Especially with this Three of Pentacles here. Somebody wants to, to have a balanced relationship. So I feel like somebody here wants to work together, okay? They've had a epiphany that they want balance when it comes to this relationship, okay? Or that they even just want to give to this relationship in a way that they know that they should. Because I feel like in the the first time around or when you guys dealt with each other before, you probably it probably was the six of pentacles in reverse. There was an imbalance, okay? Nine of pentacles. <clears throat> they see that you can do this by yourself okay they see that you can do this by yourself they see that you are independent that you are you're doing okay so them not being in your life has not stopped the world from turning okay they see that you can do this by yourself okay and that that is attractive to people okay they see that you're not codependent on them why is the three of pentacles here they may have even told you that they, that, you know, that they see that you're doing good by yourself. The three of pentacles, I mean, the nine of swords. I feel like somebody is obsessing or obsessively thinking about the, the possibility of you guys working things out with that nine of swords. Somebody could be, somebody could, uh, I hate to say that, but let me pull another card on it. Could be dealing with a Gemini specifically or a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Okay. An air sign. Why is this nine of swords here? Mm, yeah, that's what I thought it was. Okay. So you could be dealing with a Gemini specifically, but I feel like the person who found out about the third party situation, it devastated them with that nine of swords there. It, they spent a lot of, it was a lot of grieving that they did um, with this lovers here. It definitely was a third party relationship that, that was found out about. And the, the, the nine of swords is in between those two. So, when the person found out about the third party situation. Sorry, I had to take a drink. When the person found out about the third party situation, it caused a lot of grief, a lot of depression, a lot of um, anxiety, okay? A lot of sleepless nights here. Why is the lovers here? Page of Pentacles. So I feel like somebody here was being breadcrumbed during this, and I feel like it was you, or feel like whoever, you know, put it where it goes. But I feel like the person was being breadcrumbed in the relationship because they could not give, um, they could not give their full attention to you or you to them because of what was happening in that third party. Okay. With that page of pentacles, could be dealing with a excuse me. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? And that Nine of Swords and this Ten of Swords, so you went from the Nine to the Ten, okay? Both very, you know, 
emotionally disheartening cards, which have made you hard and bitter. Okay. And that's where the playfulness comes in. Even if you don't want this person back, you have to lighten up. You have to, I just get the image of somebody very bitter. Okay. And rightfully so because of what was done or what happened to you. So I understand the bitterness, but you've got to lighten up. Okay. If you want to attract a new relationship, you have got to lighten up. <clears throat> so why is this ace of pentacles here? So I feel like you're going to have a conversation with someone could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. But I feel like you're going to have a conversation with someone and they're going to tell you that with this person, and they're going to tell you that they want a new beginning, that they want stability. Okay. Or this person has had some kind of clarity that they want a new beginning or they want stability with you. Why is this King of Swords here? The high priestess. Um, <clears throat> intuitively this person may know or the, and, and like I said up here I feel like the person knew all along okay I feel like they knew all along and they were running from it but uh this person may be using their intuition about when to have this conversation with you okay or they may be and they may intuitively know that they need to have this conversation with you okay with that high priestess card there <clears throat> Or, and this just popped into my head, or because this, this King of Swords is somebody who, you know, they communicate well, but they're very stoic. So they're not very emotional. Okay. So this person may know they need to have a conversation with you. This high priestess is somebody who's closed off and doesn't share much. Okay. So this could be them just having clarity that, Hey, I want stability or I want a new beginning with this person. And they may not even say it. Okay but they know it. Why is this high priestess here? Page of wands. Yeah, they're going to tell you though. They're going to tell you. Um, so this person is going to tell you, okay, that they want a new beginning with you. It could be dealing with a fire sign. Okay. You could receive a message that, Hey, I need to talk to you. Hey, we need to have a conversation. Hey, we need to have a face to face. Um, I've been having some things on my mind. Uh, you may receive a, a message like that, but this person is definitely going to reach out to you and, you know, tell you that they want a new beginning. What's the best case scenario for them? Eight of cups. Wow. Okay. So I feel like somebody may walk away here. Let's, let's clarify. Why is the eight of cups here? cups strength whoa whoa so somebody here bottom of the deck queen of wands yeah somebody's in their power could be dealing with a leo sagittarius um aries and like i said we're in the lion's gate portal so somebody's in their power right now okay somebody's in their power somebody is loving themselves first okay so right here it was ended with this ten of wands and i feel like when this person comes back to have this conversation with you Eight of cups, four of cups, strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. You're going to stand strong on that, okay? You you walked away and you're going to stay gone, okay? You're going to reject this, okay? You're going to reject that offer and you're going to stand strong on that. Wow. I actually like that energy, to be honest. I actually like that energy. So let's pull some Tessera's Tarot. So somebody here has figured out that there's more fish in the sea and they want to cut that, those attachments. They want to cut that attachment. And these oracles are ones that I made up. I don't read them in the reverse. So if you see me turning them around, that's why I don't read them in the reverse. Give me any messages that you may have for this person, for the collective. Give me any messages that you may have for the collective. But I do feel like you're, you're bitter. <clears throat> they are not over their ex. Now I'm going to say something. And I just 
said this. I just said this two seconds ago, and I'm gonna I'm gonna retract this. When this came out, it came out like this. Okay. I feel like at the time, the first time you guys interacted with each other, they weren't over their ex, or they weren't over a connection that they had before. Okay, which is why they were running from this. They knew you was the wish fulfillment for them, but they were running. Okay. That's where this comes from, this third party. They weren't, I feel like you may have, they may have gotten you on the rebound, okay? So I'm going to retract that. I think they're over their ex now. That's where the epiphany comes. That's where the, where the aha moment comes from. I feel like at the time when you guys first started seeing each other, they weren't, okay? Give me any, any other messages for the collective. Boy, spirit will make you bite your tongue, boy. <laughs> Every time I just got done saying that. <clears throat> Again, this came out like this. So I feel like in the beginning, they are doing what I'm getting ready to read up right. They are not showing you the real them. They are wearing a mask. I feel like at the time when you guys were dating each other or first started seeing each other, I believe that was true. I believe that was true. But I believe that they're ready now to do all those things that they know they should have did. They're now ready to take the risk. They're now ready to take the leap, okay? They're now ready to start anew with you, okay? So I just get the sense that this relationship, again, I get the sense that this was more of a rebound for them, not necessarily for you, but for them. And I feel like now they're ready to really make it a real relationship and give it a real effort, okay? That's, that's what I'm getting from this. But, you know, I feel like you've been hurt so much by this person that you're not willing to do that. You guys are headed towards a breakup. I feel like you guys are already there. Okay. You guys are already there. You've already been separated because there's a lot of cards of communication, which tells me that there hasn't been any communication. Okay. So I feel like you guys are already there. Give me other messages that you have. They are cheap and stingy. <laughs> they got some money issues. Or, I mean, let's just be realistic. When you the, when you the rebound, men not going to spend their money on the rebound. And that's just what it is. So, I mean, that could have been the way that they were. They was or were. One more message. Someone is secretly pregnant. Let's see. You got the Ace of Cups up here. That Ace of Cups could signal that you got the page of pentacles and the page of wands so you got a yeah and that fool card that's young energy um you know somebody could have got pregnant in that in that entanglement <laughs> so but that won't be for everybody that's just for that'll be for somebody specific somebody specific situation give me one more they love drama okay so this person could like having a lot of drama around them. They could like the attention of it. They could like the feel of someone, of people fighting over them. They could like that, okay? But based on this best case scenario, uh, they kind of play with the wrong person, okay? So I hope this was helpful for you. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. Uh, for all your coffee and glam needs, uh, visit www.theglamcafe.com um, and keep your eye out for the extended and the personal reads. And I'll talk to you soon.